Welcome to the new session. Today I will discuss about the SIS and OS modules. I know this topic is very uh, new to you. Let's begin the session. First of all, this is module. This is module provide the functions and variables used to manipulate the different parts of the Python runtime environment. And this module provides access to some variables used or maintained by the interpreter and also provide the functions that interact strongly with the interpreter. Okay. So, uh, and Python sys module stores the command line arguments into the list. We all know about the command line arguments, right? Uh, what do you mean by argv and argc? You are very familiar with the argv and argc in C language. Okay. So, argv means it's an array that stores the command line arguments. And argc is the integer variable uh, that stores the count of the command line arguments. Okay. So, sys.argv is the list of command line arguments passed to a Python program. Okay. And argv represents all the items that come along via the command line input. For example, let's look at the program. This Python program demonstrate the use of argv. Uh, before using the argv statement, we have to uh, import the sys module into the Python program. Here, this is the statement to import the sys module into the Python program. After importing the sys module, we can use the argv statements. As I mentioned earlier, argv is an array. So, uh, this is the zero is the index of this array. So, look at this uh, output. Here, we execute python com.py1234. Python is the uh, command for executing it com.py is the file name 1234 are the uh, integers and here in this command line we use argv and in argv statement in the first index that is argv of 0 we uh, save com.py and in argv of 1 it will store 1 and in argv of 2 uh, the program stores 2 and so on so uh, when we we print uh, this is the name of the program sys.argv of 0 it will display com.py the file name uh, as i mentioned earlier com.py is the first index uh, so argv of 0 and 1 argv of 1 2 argv of 2 3 argv of 3 and so on so uh, when we display the sys.argv of 0 it will display com.py to the console okay and number of elements including the name of the program we can find this using the function length and length of sys.argv what is the length of argv here 1 2 3 4 5 the total length of the argv is 5 so here we display 5 and the number of elements excluding the name of the program excluding com.py that is 5 minus 1 that is 4 and we can uh, display the argument list using str of sys.argv and the argument list is com.py 1 2 3 and 4 this is the example of the demonstration of sysdork rv statement. Hope you understand this. Okay. And another use of uh, sys module is to find out the version and version information of the system. Here to find out the version we can use sys.version command and uh, for finding the sys.version uh, information we can use sys.version info. So this is the example for this uh, program. These are the uh, three more uses of sys module. First of all, sys.exit. This command used to uh, exit back to either Python console or the command prompt. And sys.maxize 
returns the largest integer variable uh, it can take and this is stored path this is an environment variable that is search path for the all the python modules and next one is os modules it is possible to automatically perform many of the operating system tasks in the python using the os module the os module in python provides the function for creating removing a directory fetching its contents changing and identifying the current directory etc so first of all how to create a directory using the os module before uh, using the os module uh, like sys module uh, we have to import the os module into the python program using the command import os after importing we can use the make directory command for creating the directory the syntax of make directory command is mkdir and the argument this is the argument passed next let's uh, look how to change the current working directory using the os module um, after importing the os module to python program we can use chdir command uh, for changing the current working directory here uh, uh, chdir is the function and uh, tempdir is the current directory it is passed to the chdir function as an argument and uh, there is get cwd function uh, in the os module using uh, which we can confirm if the current working directory has been changed or not so this is the use of get cwd and uh, the directory paths can also be relative if the current directory is set to d drive and then to temp dir without mentioning the preceding path and also the current working directory will be changed to d slash temp dir and the next function is rm dir function it is used to removing the directory uh, in the os module and uh, this is an example for uh, rm dir here look at this code os dot chdir of temp dir this means uh, chdir is used to change the current directory and os dot get cw uh, checking whether the current directory is uh, temp dir or not and we use uh, remove directory function here os dot rm dir of temp dir so uh, we all know that mdr dir is uh, working now so uh, we have an error message when we execute this uh, remove directory we will get an error message like this the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process because tmdir is a uh, current working directory now and we use the uh, current directory using the chdir in this statement and after that we can remove the directory tempdir because uh, now this is not the current working directory so we can remove tempdir without any error and the next function is list dir function it is used to return the list of all the files and directories uh, under a specified directory like this os dot list dir of python so uh, this is the uh, specified directory it passed as an argument in list dir function and under this uh, specified directory we have the list of uh, different files and directories like this and uh, there is uh, one point to note when we doesn't uh, specify a particular uh, directory as an argument in the list dir function the list of files and directories in the current working directory will be returned and that's all about the sys module and os module thank you